This is not who from e programmer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we use x function in AutoCAD 3D. Now, first of all, I'm going to draw a rectangle. I pick a point here. Um, pick a point here. So I rotate. This is a 2D rectangle. Now, we can do an extrude. Select this. Let's end. Uh, we, we can go whatever we want. We can change it. I change the height to 1. Now, if we want to extrude again, what we can do is we can draw another rectangle on top of here for some I put it on here let's say like this okay right now you can see that is a rectangular rectangular volume and a 2D rectangle on here press extrude select this press enter now you can move it, let's say two units. Okay. But one thing is you can see this is one volume. This is another volume. We can move it to whatever we want. These two volume are separate. Now just now We move it out, we can move it to this corner. Make sure your slap on, 3D slap on is on. Now, I'm going to move it to this corner. Move. This time, we do it a bit different. Right now, it's two volume. How can we make it? To become one volume, we can use this boolean function. Select the thing that we want to be union. We select two things. Press enter. Now you can see why right now two volume has become one volume because they join together. Okay. What if I want to draw a circle? I draw a circle on him. I extrude it. I press enter. I go to a distance is 4. Okay. I change to this. Now, I move this. Move this center to this corner. Once again, it looks like it's one volume, but it is really two because like, when you highlight it, you can see them separate. So we can use the union union function again. One, two, press enter. Now it becomes one single volume. Okay. So 